Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chichamba Jacob. All right, so you can see the question right here. We have uh, x here, x here, and x here. We have powers here, x, x, x. And there's a question here. Can you find the value of x? If you can find the value of x, please comment yes. If you can't find it, comment no. So whether you can find it or not find it, please watch this video up to the end so that you see all the steps. All right, so to find the value of x, of course, we are supposed to copy what you've been given, okay? We call this as a step one. Step two, we divide throughout by this. Uh, I've picked or I've decided to divide by 9 to the power x because I want to remain with 1 this side. I know that when I divide... Uh, 9 to the power x into 9 to the power x, it will give me 1. And here also it will give me 1. That means I'll have a 1 this side. I shall remain with a, a 1. So this is it, my 1 right here. Which is equal to 4 power x over 9 power x. Plus 6 power x over 9 power x. So now this is what we have. So now, from this, the idea here is that I want to remain with a quadratic formula. I mean, I want to remain with a quadratic equation. So how do I go about it? Now, things are very simple here, if you are following nicely. We just have to make sure that what is here and here are similar, or they have something common here and here. So how is it going to be? Let me cut here. I do something so that you see, you understand nicely. This one is the same as 4 over 9 power x. Okay? This one. Because we have power x here and power x. So this power x can come up here. Okay? Now, inside here, if you're able to see nicely, this is the same as the, You see? You see what I've written? So what we have here and here are the same. Okay, so follow these steps. So since this is a power right here and this is a power, it can come out. So we shall remain with 2 over 3 power 2x. Okay, so I need this. So I'm going to say, or I'm going to write 1 is equal to 2 over 3 power 2x. And plus, okay, so now let's work out this one and see what we're going to put there. Okay. So now, for, for this one, we have to make sure that there is 2 over 3 somewhere and power x. So this is how it will look like. We, shall, we have uh, 6 power x, there 9 power x. So also this can be written as uh, 6 over 9 power x, okay? Like we did with uh, this one. Now here, to make it look like this, we divide. We're going to say 2... Uh, I mean, 3 into 6, it's a 2. 3 into 9, it's a, a 3. So we just reduce. We have 2 over 3 power x. So you see, this is what we need. We're going to write it here. If you are following nicely, this is how it looks. Very easy. We are almost there. If you are following nicely, we are almost there. So let's clean up. All right, so now from this stage... We can say, let y be equal to 2 over 3 and the power x. So this point is very important. We have to keep it. It's very important. Okay. So we're going to say 1 is equal to y power 2 plus y. So now where is this y power 2 coming from? This is because we said let y be equal to 2 over 3 power x. So here, there is this one is straightforward. We just put a y because we are equating here. So here we substitute a y. Now here, we need something like this. So we shall have 2 over 3 power x. It will be y. This 2 here will remain as a power. So now we have formed a quadratic equation. So this quadratic equation can be put in standard form. 
and it will be y power 2 plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is a standard form, uh, or this is a quadratic equation written in standard form, of this written in standard form. So here we are going to use uh, the quadratic formula to solve for y. So this is the quadratic formula I'm writing for you in case you don't know or you've forgotten. This is a quadratic formula. So now, uh, when you use this quadratic formula, of course, we know that uh, we know that uh, this is our A, our B, and our C there. So we just substitute in this quadratic formula and find the value of Y, of which it will just be Y is equal to negative 1. We know that B is 1 plus or minus root of uh, 1 squared there minus 4 and then here 1 negative 1 inside there we know that c is a negative 1 here okay everything over 2 and the 1 there of which this will just give us negative 1 plus or minus root over 5 over 2 okay so this is what we have so now we're going to say the the y the, the, the value of y will be negative 1 plus there we have this over a 2 or it will be negative 1 minus root over 5 over a 2. So these are the two y values. I'm not saying these are the solutions, but they are two y values. All right. So now after reaching this point, remember I said this is very important. After finding the y values, we'll check which one will give us uh, the solution for x. It's of course this one. This one, we forget about it because it will give us a negative answer. And the negative answer won't help us find the value of x. But this one, we'll keep it. We know that this is a y value. So we'll get this y value and substitute it here. So we shall have a negative. Let me cut so that we don't mix up things. We shall have negative 1 plus root over 5, okay, over a 2 is equal to uh, 2 over 3 power x. All right. So now to solve for x, we are going to apply the log both sides to both sides. So log here and log there. So we shall have a log of negative 1 plus root over 5 over 2 is equal to x log 2 over 3. You see? We know that the logs, once you apply the logs, or the idea why we decided to put a log here, we wanted to drop this power here to make it come this side, and this is where it has come. So now to solve for x, we're going to divide by this, the same stuff here, log 2 over 3 there, okay? Such that these two will cancel, and our final answer here will be, let me write it here, our final answer will be, x this x right here we know that it, these two have cancelled is equal to log of negative one plus c root over five over a two over log two over three so this is the value over x right here thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel Okay, if you, you, you are a fan of uh, my YouTube channel, you follow me also on my Facebook page, my TikTok, the names are Jacob Sichamba Online Math.